What's up guys this is Ronnie welcome back to our channel Total Technology Zone and today's topic will be Lang uh, on Langchain XSplitter okay so this tutorial or this video requires some sort of theory so let me actually start the tutorial from the first slide okay okay so basically what is what is text splitter in Langchain context okay so once you load your document you will require to transform them into uh, some sort of like um, or maybe you want to uh, transfer them to better suite uh, as per your application right so simplest example will be you may want to split a longer long document or large document into the smaller chunks that can fit into your model that can that model could be any machine learning model or anything right so Langchain has a number of built-in document transformers and that will uh, help you to easily transform split combine filter or if you want to do manipulation then also it will help you to do the manipulation right so basically uh, all these things actually comes under something called uh, Langchain document transformers all these things actually comes under this radar so it, uh, it, it this consists of splitting the of the document combine of the document filtration and also the manipulation okay when you want to deal with uh, long pieces of a text it is necessary to split them into smaller chunks of text as simple as sound is there is a lot of potential complexity here ideally you want to keep the suppose you, you have a large document and you want to actually uh, keep the meaningful part of the document all together and you actually want to actually remove all the written uh, like a less important part or non useful part out of the context so basically that time this splitting is actually required so at the high level splitting is actually done based on two things so first is actually uh, split the text into smaller small or semantically meaningful chunk like sentences and second will be start combining them into a larger chunk means first you uh, split them into smaller chunks based on the meaningful syntax or something meaningful context and after that you are going to actually combine them into something meaningful and a large chunk okay so let's see and third point is also there once you uh, reach that size make the chunk is old piece of text and start creating new chunk means once you reach that level it will automatically creating a new chunk okay so means Whenever you are going to use this text splitting function within our Langchain context, we have to actually mention, mention that uh, chunk size and based on that it will start splitting up the document and after that it will create the large chunk. Okay. Okay. So in this tutorial, I'll be going to talk about uh, there are multiple type of text splitters are available within Langchain, but here I'll be going to do with recursive character text splitter. Okay. The name is recursive character text splitter. Okay. So this text splitter is the recommended one for generic text okay so whenever you are going to deal with some large text documents so recursive character text splitter is actually recommended so it is parameterized by list of characters and it is tries to split on them in order to in order until the chunks are small enough okay the default list is actually like in python new line character double new line character new line character uh, a blank and also a blank character means space and blank character okay this has effect uh, this has the effect to of trying to keep all the paragraphs and then sentences together as long as possible as this would generically seem to be stronger stronger semantically uh, like uh, semantically related pieces of text means it will try to keep all the sentences paragraph and the words mixed together so that it should not uh, actually lose the context okay so how the text is splitting by the list of characters how the chunk size is measured by the number of character okay by the list of character it will split and by the how the chunk size is measured by the number of character okay so let's start writing the code okay so basically i have a document here it's a document of maybe something around 1300 or some pages Yes, some 1400 almost 1400 pages sorry 1400 lines of text document i'll be going to actually uh, write down the code to show you the recursive characters character text splitter okay so let's do this thing now okay okay so just hold on so first i'll be going to read the file but before that we need to actually 
uh, import something so from lang chain right so lang chain text splitter import recursive character text splitter right then with open then I'll be going to write down the name sample.txt okay as f1 and then I'll be going to write something called data equals to data equals to f1 dot read okay and then what I'll do I'll just going to make it f1 dot close okay and what we'll do I'll just try to check whether something is coming or not so maybe what we'll do I'll just write data okay and let's see whether something is coming or not yes so I'm able to actually read everything okay now the length and part will start here okay so to do the length and part what we'll do we'll be going to actually uh, write let's say uh, text splitter I just write text yes, text splitter is going to be recursive character text splitter right and there I'll be actually going to uh, mention everything so first thing chunk size so basically uh, recursive character text splitter is actually going to be chunk size c h u n ki chunk size okay so i'll just going to write chunk size equals to 100 okay then what will happen it will be chunk overlap okay so chunk overlap okay then length function okay okay so length function will be len and is separator uh, is separator regex i don't want to use that so basically all these things are actually part of the documentation okay so there i'll be just going to mention false okay okay that's it so let me check whether i'm getting any error or not okay so basically there is a mistake it should be chunk overlap okay okay so that's it there is no error so what we'll do now i'll be just going to uh, uh, create the text so multiple text so text equals to uh, uh, equals to ts i mean this one this ts okay this ts dot uh, create documents right and inside the document what we'll do i'll be just going to pass this data okay this text okay so i'm just taking an uh, 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 using this thing and calling this function to create this thing so this is done now i'll just going to write print okay print t a x t x okay like this and let's see whether i'm going to get something or not yeah i'm getting something so I'll just check the length of this thing okay length of this thing okay so okay so it is giving me 477 so everything is coming so now what i'll do i'll just try to for text -E text in x like this and after that just print text right okay and after that i'll just pass to new line character so that everything will be kind of properly formatted so let's see uh, okay so this is basically a document it is saying that it is not going to come in that way so dot page content okay like this okay okay so all contents are coming actually if you see here okay looks nice and this looks okay right okay so let's see uh if you have if you guys are having any question in the from this tutorial just let me know because uh see here i'm not doing anything like fancy i'm just loading the document loading part is already done in the previous video and after loading i'm just creating smaller chunks by using the lang chain splitter and after that i'm just uh printing each and every chunk of documents okay so irrespective of actually loading the entire document and actually splitting it into multiple documents and after that i'm actually uh, printing it so basically here it is first i got the text after that i split the text and after that from the split part it is actually creating the document okay so basically it is actually creating the split parameters 
and I'm applying this fit parameter on top of that on this document uh, sorry on this text to create the document and while it is creating the document it will make sure that it will split based on this given parameter okay and that is why I'm getting all these smaller chunks okay right okay so I believe this this tutorial is little bit complex and if you remember I told you guys we are slowly slowly start moving towards the advanced uh, tutorials and after this tutorial maybe couple of more tutorials I will do on document loader and after that we will be start uh, uh, start doing the vector space okay means after you uh, like transform your document what you exactly do means after you uh, split the document what you are what ac actually required to be done okay and that time probably you can talk about some vector vector space or vector database okay okay so without wasting further time i think i should conclude this video here i hope you guys are enjoying this series and if someone is watching this series or watching to our, watching this video for the first time or came to our channel for the first time guys welcome to our channel one more time myself ronnie and please try to uh, watch this playlist from the beginning because if you see this is the 28th tutorial and before that we already posted 27 tutorial so i will highly recommend you guys to subscribe to our channel hit the like button and also try to uh, hit the bell bell icon so that you should not miss any notification from our future updates and if you are new then please uh, watch out for this entire playlist from the beginning if you if you go to our channel and search for lang chain complete tutorial you will find you will find the entire playlist okay and for all the existing viewers guys please try to subscribe to our channel share our videos with your family and friend because we would love to reach uh, to a to a larger audience base and larger audience base is actually going to give us some sort of visibility and so that we can actually crack the youtube algorithm so that youtube will start promoting our videos to the larger audience base actually so your own subscription will bring lots of joy lots of glory to our life please please subscribe to our channel okay okay and one more thing last but not least guys please try to practice the coding once you watch the video don't just uh, like end everything or there once you complete uh, the video try to actually write the code by your own because until and unless you are not writing the code you won't get actually any sort of confidence or expertise okay writing code or coding will actually going to give you some sort of confidence and based on that you will start thinking uh, for different use cases and after that you will try to analyze those use cases visualize those use cases. after that you can easily do those implementation and if you have any other use case related to this topic please let us know have some sort of feedback or comment we'll try to incorporate all those changes or all those tutorial in our next tutorial or in our upcoming videos okay so enough of talking guys uh, i will think i should um, i think i should conclude this video here okay so let me finish the video here we will see you in the next video till then take care goodbye have a nice day and happy learning